Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. Um, in this video, we're talking about converting frequency to relative frequency on a data table. Um, this video will be really short and sweet because it's a really simple concept. So you'll notice over here we've got a table of information. And from looking at it, we can tell that somebody has surveyed men and women. And um, they've surveyed a total of 20 men, a total of 30 women. And they asked them, I'm going to assume this means what their favorite sport is. So, or maybe what they'd rather play. So there's golf, tennis, or football. And then it shows how many of the men chose golf. How many women chose golf. How many men chose tennis? How many women chose tennis? And then it's got your total columns. Okay, so this is a very straightforward. This is your frequency data. It's like a frequency count. So how many men would rather play golf? Two of them would. Okay, and over here, this is an important number. This is your total number of participants, right? So 50. 50 people total, 20 men, 30 women. Okay, now to change from frequency data over to relative frequency data, which is this blue line right here. So to go from this table to this table, all we need to do is divide the number, so the frequency number, in this case like two, by the total, the total people in total, so 50. So two, for example, two divided by 50, that gives us the relative frequency data of men who like golf or want to play golf, 0.04, okay? And you would do that for each point. So then you would do, okay, men who like tennis would be 10. All right, so I would do 10 divided by the total, 50. 10 divided by 50, I know is 0.2, okay? So that's how we go from frequency over to relative frequency. Now, from relative frequency to go back to frequency, we would take the decimal, and I wrote number, and I really should have written decimal, times the total number, so 50, okay? So taking something like 0.04, multiplying it by the total number, as I've shown in the example here, will give me two. That's the frequency data. So we can easily move back and forth between these two charts, okay? And they are gonna expect you to take one chart and fill in the other, or take this chart and then fill in the frequency data. Okay, so that's really all you need to know. And then being able to look and make decisions about, you know, what percent of women like golf. Okay, and we're going to get more into that in the next video. So this is just basic moving from one to the other. This has been Miss Smith.